Hey, wake up. It's time to face a harsh reality blackouts are coming, and they're not just some distant possibility. We're talking about real, tangible disruptions caused by grid failures, extreme weather, or other unpredictable events. Imagine the lights suddenly going out. Are you truly prepared for that? Today, we're diving into the 10 essential preps you'll regret not having when the inevitable blackout hits. Most of us are busy worrying about hypothetical doomsday scenarios, but here's the inconvenient truth blackouts are the real deal. These power outages strike towns and cities across the country every year. Sometimes they're just a minor inconvenience, other times they're a full-blown survival test lasting not just hours but potentially days or even weeks. Think about it, how many times have you experienced a power outage just this year? If you're like me, probably more than you care to count. It's not something you can just shrug off. The question isn't whether a blackout will happen, it's a matter of when. And it's not just an inconvenience, it's a threat you can't afford to ignore. You need to have a concrete plan in place, and it starts by making sure you've got the right preparations ready to go. We're here to break down the critical steps you need to take right now to ensure you're covered when the power cuts out unexpectedly. So strap in and get ready to take notes, because these 10 preps are not just helpful, they're absolutely necessary. Trust us, when the lights go out, you'll wish you'd listened. Don't wait until it's too late. Prepare now so you're not caught off guard when the blackout hits your doorstep. 10. Emergency radios. When the power goes out, it's not just the lights that flicker off. It's your entire digital lifeline that dies. Your internet connection, your TV, even your ability to Google what's happening around you gone in an instant. That smartphone in your hand? Without power or service, it's nothing more than a fancy flashlight or a useless weight in your pocket. So how do you figure out if this is a short-lived glitch or the collapse of the entire power grid in your area? Enter the emergency radio your lifeline to the outside world when everything else fails. But I'm not talking about just any radio. You need a powerhouse a radio that's not only reliable but versatile enough to keep you informed and prepared. Think NOAA weather alerts, solar-powered, hand-cranked, USB rechargeable, all in one. Imagine this a radio that keeps you plugged into crucial updates and emergency instructions, no matter how long you're in the dark. This isn't about tuning in for the latest pop songs, it's about making potentially life-saving decisions, like whether to hunker down or get the hell out of Dodge. Picture the scenario you're sitting in the pitch black, the neighborhood eerily silent, uncertainty pressing in like a fog. Then, out of the stillness, your emergency radio crackles to life with a message a storm intensifying evacuation orders issued for towns just miles away. In that moment, just how valuable is that radio to you? It's not just about emergency updates. When the silence gets too heavy, some music or a talk show can break the tension, uplift your spirits, and keep your family's morale from plummeting. Sometimes, just hearing another human voice is the difference between feeling isolated and feeling connected. Now, a top-notch emergency radio isn't just a receiver. The best models are multifunctional workhorses. With a built-in flashlight, you'll never be left fumbling in the dark. Some even come with SOS alarms and the ability to charge your phone, giving you that crucial lifeline to make an emergency call when nothing else works. And here's a game-changing feature some radios can run indefinitely, powered by the sun or a few minutes of hand cranking. It's like having a superhero gadget right in your gear, ready to swoop in and save the day when all else fails. So, here's the deal don't settle for a flimsy, static-ridden, bargain bin radio that feels like it'll shatter under the slightest pressure. You need something robust, something built to withstand a hurricane, a flood, or whatever else Mother Nature throws at you. Because let's face it in an emergency, your radio might just have to save your life. 9. Imagine this scenario you're enveloped in the thick, unsettling darkness of your home. The power's been out for what feels like an eternity hours, maybe even days. The kids finally drifted off, but their restlessness could ignite at any moment. Your partner's patience is thinning, and the conversation well ran dry ages ago. All you hear is the sporadic beep from a battery alarm and the simmering tension in the air. If you're not careful, this could escalate into chaos. Listen, boredom is no joke. It's a silent saboteur that can lead to poor decisions, ignite pointless arguments, and create a pressure cooker atmosphere. But with some smart planning, you can transform this potential headache into something almost bearable, even enjoyable. Here's your guide to keeping everyone entertained and your sanity intact. First, the essentials prepare a blackout survival bag brimming with engaging activities. And no, I'm not talking about dusting off that forgotten deck of cards. Think bigger and more diverse. 
Loaded up with board games, jigsaw puzzles, coloring books, and even those classic novels you've been meaning to get to. For the kids, stock up on activity books, crossword puzzles, mazes, and Sudoku. When you hear mom, I'm bored for the millionth time, you'll be grateful you planned ahead. But remember, boredom isn't just a kid's issue. Adults face it too, especially when screens go dark and the internet vanishes. Without the usual digital distractions, frustration can escalate rapidly. Instead of letting tensions boil over, crack open a game of Monopoly, you know, or your family's favorite board game. A potentially dreary evening can morph into a lively night filled with laughter and friendly competition. This isn't just about passing time, it's about boosting morale. A simple deck of cards or an engaging board game can lift spirits, offer a shared focus, and maintain a positive vibe amidst a frustrating power outage. It might sound trivial, but trust me, staring blankly at each other in the dark is a one-way ticket to Stressville. Idle minds breed chaos, while fun activities unite people and create a semblance of normality. Don't feel restricted to old-school, low-tech options either. If you've got a solar charger or hand crank charger handy, make sure you've got some pre-downloaded podcasts, audiobooks, or playlists queued up. A bit of music or a captivating audiobook can fill that eerie silence and soothe everyone's nerves. Finally, get inventive with how you spend the downtime. Keep a journal to jot down thoughts, sketch ideas, or brainstorm future projects. The key is to keep your mind engaged and your family's attention diverted from the powerless situation at hand. Ultimately, it's about staying positive, keeping busy, and finding ways to connect meaningfully. When the lights go out, don't let boredom and frustration seize control. With the right mindset and some preparation, you can turn a blackout into a chance for bonding, creativity, and maybe even a little fun. 8. Water How long do you really think you can last without it? A day? Maybe two? People seriously underestimate how vital water is when the taps run dry. Dehydration hits faster than you'd think, turning every sip into a precious commodity. You're already stressed dealing with a blackout, don't let thirst become another worry on your list. In extended power outages, it's not just about feeding your belly, it's about creating small comforts that make a difference. So gear up, stock those supplies, and be ready to face whatever comes your way. When I talk about water storage, I don't mean a couple of half-empty bottles in your fridge. I'm talking about a well-thought-out stockpile that'll keep you and your family hydrated, fed, and clean during a prolonged power outage. Let's break it down. The CDCC suggests at least one gallon of water per person per day for three days, but come on, we all know that's just scratching the surface. For a serious blackout, aim for at least a two-week supply that's around 14 gallons per person. Sounds like a lot. Trust me, when you hit day seven without running water, you'll thank your past self for being prepared. But don't just scatter these water containers all over the house. Proper storage is crucial to avoid contamination and ensure that water stays safe to drink. Use food-grade containers and stash them in a cool, dark place away from direct sunlight and extreme temperatures. Those five-gallon containers with spigots? Lifesavers, easy to dispense and stackable, they're perfect for tight spaces. And don't forget about portable water bottles for each family member they're handy for daily use when things get tough. Think having a well means you're in the clear? Think again, no power means no pump, and without a pump, that well water is staying put. Unless you have a backup generator for your well pump, you're in the same boat as those relying on city water. And speaking of city water, during a major outage, the whole municipal system could go down contamination, broken pipes or a total shutdown all risks. So what can you do? Invest in emergency water filtration systems. A life straw or a gravity-fed system like the Big Berkey can be game-changers, especially if you need to collect rainwater or tap into sketchy sources. These systems filter out bacteria, viruses, and other nasties, ensuring safe drinking water. Water purification tablets are another essential. Cheap, long-lasting, and able to purify a gallon of water with just one tablet, these are your backup for peace of mind. Remember, water isn't just for drinking. Cooking, washing, and sanitation all require water. Poor hygiene from a lack of clean water can lead to illness something you definitely want to avoid in an emergency. Don't skimp on this. Make sure your stockpile covers all your essential needs. Beyond drinking, you'll need it for cooking, basic hygiene, and keeping everything sanitized. Want to go the extra mile? Consider a rainwater harvesting system. While you'll still need to filter or treat this water, having another source is invaluable during a long-term outage. 
Install rain barrels connected to your gutters to collect rainwater. Just have a filtration system ready as untreated rainwater can carry contaminants. And don't underestimate the power of redundancy. Multiple water sources and filtration methods ensure you're not reliant on just one system. What if your stored water runs low? What if your well generator fails? Having backups provides peace of mind. Whether it's extra jugs, filtration systems, or purification tablets, a layered approach keeps you safer when the taps run dry. In an extended blackout, being without water isn't just inconvenient, it's a serious threat. Prepare now to ensure your family's safety and comfort, no matter how long the outage lasts. Seven all right, let's cut to the chase about your blackout bag. This isn't some doomsday prepper bug out bag. This is a straightforward kit, packed with essentials to keep your family safe and comfortable during those inevitable power outages. Picture this, the lights go out, and you're left groping in the dark, searching for candles, batteries, or matches. Not exactly the thrilling adventure you want, right? So what should your blackout bag actually contain? Let's break it down, starting with a reliable light source. Darkness isn't just a nuisance, it's a hazard. Imagine your entire household stumbling around like blind mice, bumping into furniture and each other. That's not just inconvenient, it's downright dangerous. You might think grabbing some candles from the junk drawer will do the trick. Wrong move. In a chaotic pitch black scenario with kids and pets underfoot, an open flame could easily lead to a disaster. One accidental tip and you might find yourself dealing with a house fire instead of just a blackout. Is that really the memory you want to create? Here's the smart move for get candles and arm yourself with flashlights and battery-powered lanterns. But don't just grab any flashlight. This isn't the time to rely on that ancient flashlight from the 90s that's more rust than function. You need heavy-duty LED flashlights, think lightsabers that slice through the dark. Add a couple of omnidirectional lanterns to the mix, and it'll be like you've tamed the sun itself. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, I've got my phone's flashlight, sure, but that battery will drain faster than a power outage, and you'll need your phone for communication and emergencies. Using it as a flashlight in a blackout is like using your last bottle of water for a foot bath utterly wasteful. Don't catch yourself unprepared stock up on extra batteries like your life depends on it. Keep a variety of sizes on hand, well labeled and easily accessible. The last thing you want during a blackout is to be tearing through drawers cursing your lack of foresight. But let's go beyond flashlights. Think emergency glow sticks. Scatter these little lifesavers around your house, they last up to 12 hours and are perfectly safe for kids. Imagine a warm, ambient glow illuminating each room while the neighborhood is shrouded in darkness. You're not just surviving, you're thriving. And why stop there? Solar-powered lights are a game-changer. They charge during the day and keep the night bright without draining a single battery. Or consider motion sensor lights, they can serve power and alert you to movement around your property. Six, let's get down to business about surviving a winter blackout because when the power cuts out, your cozy home can turn into an icebox faster than you realize. It doesn't matter if you're lounging under the California sun or sweating it out in a Texas summer. When winter decides to show its frosty face and the power decides to take a vacation, you'll need more than just a pile of blankets to keep warm. Newsflash, no electricity means no heat. Your beloved electric heater? Useless, that high-tech HVAC system? Dead in the water. Suddenly you're camping in the Arctic, and no amount of blankets will stop your teeth from chattering once the temperature drops to bone-chilling lows. Heat sources aren't just a luxury, they're a survival necessity. Maybe you're thinking, I've got a fireplace, but let's get real. Do you have a stockpile of wood to last through days or weeks of no power? Do you even know how to start a fire beyond blowing out birthday candles? If not, it's time to get serious about your heating game plan. First up, hand warmers and pocket warmers. These little lifesavers are small, portable, and can churn out warmth for up to 24 hours. Slip them into your gloves or socks, and suddenly your fingers and toes won't feel like they're turning into ice pops. But don't stop there, it's time to think bigger. Next, grab yourself some thermal blankets. Forget those old quilts your grandma knitted. We're talking space-age thermal blankets that reflect 90% of your body heat straight back at you. Wrap yourself up, and you'll feel like you're lounging in your own personal sauna. They're compact, they're efficient, and they could be the difference between shivering through the night or staying toasty warm. Still feeling the cold? It's time to break out the big guns propane heaters. But don't just snatch any heater off the shelf. 
you need one designed for indoor use something that doesn't turn your living space into a carbon monoxide trap. Consider something like the Mr. Heater Buddy, perfect for safely warming up a small space. Imagine turning your living room into a tropical haven while the world outside looks like a frozen wasteland. And what about that cup of hot cocoa you're dreaming of? Without electricity, you'll need a way to heat it up. Enter the propane stove. It's a simple solution for boiling water or heating soup. So while others are gnawing on cold snacks, you'll be enjoying a warm, hearty meal. Five picture this, it's been a grueling week without power. Your battery stash is dwindling, your generator's gas tank is nearly bone dry, and any hope of the grid coming back online is fading fast. In these moments, solar-powered gadgets leap from being a modern convenience to an absolute necessity. Unlike the erratic grid, solar power remains unaffected by blackouts. As long as the sun rises, you've got energy. Forget those flimsy solar garden lights you snag at the dollar store. We're talking about robust, reliable gear designed to keep your essentials running seamlessly day in and day out. Start with solar-powered flashlights or lanterns. These aren't just temporary fixes, they're durable gadgets designed to soak up the sun's rays efficiently. Many can run up to 24 hours on a single charge, perfect for those long, dark nights. It's wise to have several on hand, one for each family member, plus a few extras for good measure. But let's face it, light alone won't cut it. What happens when your phone, radio, or other small devices are gasping for power? Enter the solar charger. Not just any charger will do. You need a top-notch portable solar panel with multiple USB ports and enough wattage to juice up your gadgets in a matter of hours. The best models are lightweight, foldable, and can be easily strapped to a backpack or strategically positioned in a window. Even if you're bunkered down during a storm, these can capture enough sunlight to keep your essentials charged. Ready to up your solar game? Consider a solar generator. This is Solar Power on steroids, a portable power station equipped with solar panels capable of handling bigger devices like a mini fridge, fans, or even a small appliance. Imagine being the only house on the block with cold drinks, a working fan, and preserved food. It's not just about comfort, it's about maintaining control when everything else spirals into chaos. But what about cloudy days, you might ask? While solar isn't a complete substitute for the grid, quality solar panels still produce power even under overcast conditions. You might not collect as much energy, but it's often enough to keep critical lights on and devices operational. Remember, it's not about replacing your entire electrical system, it's about stretching your resources and ensuring you're never left entirely powerless. Here's a pro tip pair those solar gadgets with rechargeable batteries. Use your solar panels during daylight hours to recharge these batteries, then use the stored energy to power other devices at night. It's like creating your own mini off-grid system, insulating yourself from external chaos. With the right setup, you can achieve near self-sufficiency, offering you and your family resilience during even the longest blackouts. Four, all right, let's cut to the chase about cooking when the power quits on you. Imagine this, the grid's been down for days, your fridge is now a breeding ground for mystery odors, and you're left staring at your pantry like you're on some twisted cooking show challenge. Those canned beans and dry noodles? Not exactly the gourmet experience you're craving. Sure, chomping on raw ramen might feel novel for a moment, but trust me, the appeal wears off fast. You're going to start longing for something hot and satisfying. This is where alternative cooking methods become your culinary life raft. This isn't about cobbling together a sad collection of snacks. We're talking real meals that lift your spirits and fuel your body for whatever else the blackout throws your way. A propane camping stove or portable grill isn't just a luxury, it's an absolute necessity if you want to cling to any sense of normalcy. Your microwave is now just a glorified bread box. The electric stove is as useful as a rock, and all those fancy kitchen gadgets. It's completely useless. Now picture this, instead of enduring another can of cold beans, you're savoring a hot bowl of soup or a steaming plate of pasta. Maybe even some scrambled eggs filling the air with that cozy, comforting aroma. A propane stove, especially one with two burners, opens up a world of culinary possibilities. Boil water on one side, whip up a meal on the other. Get creative, make some pancakes, fry up some bacon, or warm a comforting stew. These small comforts can make a monumental difference, easing the mental and emotional strain of a blackout. But owning a stove isn't enough. You need the fuel to fire it up. Propane canisters are your golden ticket when the power's out. Stock up like your life depends on it because it might. Make sure you've got enough to last several days or even weeks. 
And don't forget the basics like waterproof matches and lighters. A stove's worth nothing if you can't light it. Now, here's a pro tip, add freeze-dried meals to your emergency arsenal. These little wonders only need hot water to become a delicious, hearty meal in minutes. Picture steaming bowls of chili, beef stew, or scrambled eggs with bacon. And the cherry on top? They're designed to last for years, making them a smart staple in your blackout kit and giving you peace of mind for the long haul. So let's not kid ourselves. When it comes to surviving a blackout, having the right cooking gear isn't just about keeping hunger at bay. It's about maintaining your sanity, your morale, and making sure you're ready to face whatever comes next. Don't let a lack of power rob you of the comfort and nourishment of a good meal. Prepare now, and when the lights go out, you'll be cooking up a storm like it's just another day. 3. Let's face it, your stockpile of water is only half the battle won. What happens when that stash runs out, or even worse, gets contaminated? You can't just stroll to the nearest store for a fresh supply, and counting on FEMA or the National Guard is a risky bet. What you truly need is a reliable emergency water filtration system. We're talking about turning murky puddle water into crystal clear, drinkable water often purer than what flows from your kitchen tap. Luckily, there are top-notch options out there ready for immediate deployment. First up is the Life Straw. This little powerhouse is a compact, portable filter that eliminates 99.99% of waterborne bacteria and parasites. It's perfect for when you're on the go or as a personal filter for each family member. Slip one in your bag and you're set for any water sourcing adventure. But don't settle for just one line of defense. Having a backup is crucial. That's where a gravity-fed filtration system like the Big Berkey or Caden steps in. These systems are the giants of emergency water purification. They can handle gallons of water at a time, stripping away heavy metals, harmful chemicals, pathogens, and even viruses. With one of these set up at home, you've got a long-term water source that's reliable through any crisis. Now, let's talk about water purification tablets. Small, cost-effective, and with a practically infinite shelf life, these are your secret weapon. Toss a few packs into your emergency kit, and you're equipped to purify water on the spot. Each tablet can clean about a gallon, offering a swift solution when you're caught off guard. So why go to these lengths? Because dehydration isn't just uncomfortable, it's deadly. You might think you'll never be desperate enough to sip from a creek or rely on rainwater from a barrel, but when push comes to shove, survival instincts kick in. Being equipped with a robust water filtration plan allows you to tackle any scenario with confidence. In a crisis, it's about more than just getting by. It's about keeping you and your family hydrated, healthy, and maintaining the physical and mental resilience needed to handle tough times. Survival isn't just about scraping through. It's about preserving a quality of life that keeps you sharp and ready for whatever comes next. So ensure your emergency prep includes a solid water filtration strategy. It might just be the difference between surviving and thriving. Prepare now, so when the blackout hits and water becomes scarce, you're not left high and dry. Make sure your family's comfort and safety are non-negotiable, no matter how long the power remains out. Don't let a lack of clean water catch you off guard. With the right systems in place, you'll be ready for anything. To imagine this, the power goes out, and at first you're thinking it'll flick back on any minute. But what if it doesn't? What if you're looking at days, maybe even weeks, without electricity? Without a dependable backup power source, you're completely at the mercy of unpredictable weather and an aging, unreliable power grid. Let's be real, nobody wants to be the person sitting in the dark while your neighbors are humming along with their backup generator purring away. That sound isn't just power, it's the sweet hum of being prepared. Before you rush out to grab the first budget generator you see at the big box store, pause and think about what you genuinely need reliability. Sure, a gas-powered generator might seem like a quick fix. But if you live in an area prone to long outages, you need more than just the machine. Fuel is crucial and here's the kicker. When the grid's down, gas stations can't pump. You don't want to be left high and dry with a generator that's essentially a paperweight without fuel. Plan ahead. Stock up on 5 to 10 gallons of fuel in approved containers to keep your generator humming along. Want to step up your game? Consider a dual fuel generator that runs on propane. Propane is a game changer. It's easier to store, has a much longer shelf life than gasoline and requires less maintenance. This means you can rest easy knowing you've got a backup plan that's going to last through extended outages without turning sour or evaporating away. Not keen on dealing with fuel storage and the fumes? 
No problem, a solar generator might be your best ally. These are quiet, efficient, and fuel-free, offering power without the noise, fumes, or stress of running out of gas. Picture this while the rest of the neighborhood is sweltering, you're brewing your morning coffee, charging your devices, or running a fan all thanks to the sun. With solar, you're not just surviving, you're thriving. In a blackout, having a reliable power source isn't just about keeping the lights on. It's about maintaining your quality of life, keeping communication lines open, and ensuring that your home remains a sanctuary rather than a stifling box of darkness. A generator, whether gas-powered, dual fuel, or solar, isn't just a tool, it's your lifeline. It's the difference between riding out the storm in comfort or getting left behind in the dark ages. One let's talk about the unsung hero of blackout preparedness portable power banks. These compact yet mighty devices are your ticket to staying connected when everything else fails. Picture this, the power's out and the world has gone dark, but you've got a high capacity power bank keeping your phone alive. This isn't just about convenience, it's about being able to communicate when it matters most. Don't settle for any old power bank. You need one that can recharge your phone multiple times, ensuring you've got the juice to call, text, or check crucial updates without a hitch. Find models that are robust and reliable, ones you can count on when the grid's gone down. Here's where it gets even better. Many of these power banks are compatible with solar chargers. That's right, pair them up, and you've got a renewable power solution that doesn't depend on the grid. While your neighbors scramble for dwindling battery life, you're harnessing the sun's power, keeping your essentials charged. This isn't just smart, it's essential for true preparedness. Preparedness isn't just about scraping by, it's about maintaining comfort, safety, and connection when the unexpected strikes. You've got to think ahead and build a power strategy that's sustainable. Whether you're relying on gas, propane, or the power of the sun, make sure your backup plan is rock solid.